Okay, so then I got a shelf with my paints, some paints. Okay, these are all house paints. Uh, you can find these in Lowe's, Home Depot. I mean, dollar fifty for all this. This was like Lowe's is a little bit more expensive, but you know you get the colors and the house paint's a little bit thicker, you know. But it comes it's cheap. And moving up, I got some more acrylics, and I try to. I'm keeping my bigger ones here. My, these are all like special colors, like high, uh, fluorescence or fucking parchment. What is this? Is two parchments. I buy the same one twice. Wicker white, metallic gold. I mean, ice blue. These are like metallic. You can see they they got the the, the logos on the stickers. That's how they come from the store, from the Walmart, Michaels, whatever. So I kind of keep them separate like that. Okay. And then got another shelf here. Now I used to have all these stuff in a bucket. Now I just keep it in the shelf. It's nice and easy. The shelf, luckily, broke on me many years ago. I just reach in. I don't even have to pull it out. It's empty. I forgot what I had in here. Oh, I had all those paints that were on the other shelf. Just pull this drawer open. Oh, sick. So then I got more and more paint, okay? Uh, I probably should pull this out. I think I'm going to pull this out because I got some more racks in my car. Because I don't like having to reach in here and this thing's falling all over. I think I'm going to pull them all out put them on the other shelf like you saw before. Okay. Okay, here. Got my special caps. Now these are like professional caps. Again, I got these at Artie's, Jerry's Autorama. They're all labeled for me. They were selling them for like 75 cents each or like 50 cents each. And I just bought two or three of each one. Spent like 20 bucks. But I have these forever. And these are mostly for graffiti. Skinny Yellow. I got Skinny Pro. The McLean. I don't even know what that is. Let's take a look at that. Let's see what I have an open box. Skinny bay, no skinny banana. Right, trying to open one of these up. So this is my outline. So these these are all specific, super skinny. These are all graffiti specific. Okay. Got my hairbrush. Got my caps. Look at all those caps. Thanks, Rustoleum. You're the shit. Got an airbrush that I've never used. I need to learn to use an airbrush. Scared me. Okay, moving right along. Then I got my tapes, some tapes, socks, sponges, it's texture draw, tape draw. Boom. Just quick stencils that I might use quick for abstract or something. Uh, just stuff that I just was lazy that I didn't feel like I'm to put in there that I kind of want to try to use first or something as an idea. Yeah, I bought a whole bunch of these things. I forget what they're called, but they're very cool. You could use them for angles, making specific angles. French French curves, I think they're called, or French something. But they're awesome. Alright, here's my brushes. I keep my skinny good brushes here. These are my little ones. You can tell I'm not much of a painter because these are all clean. Most painters have dirty brushes. And my fat brushes, a big old four inch brush I've never used. Forget the names. It's a round brush, straight edge maybe. Then I got all my my uh, palette knives here. Boom, boom, boom. All right, some more palette knives. Texture. You know, I kind of just go to the store and I buy everything, and uh, <clears throat> I don't worry about the money until it's later. I look at all this as an investment. You know, the paint, the tools. I'm gonna have this forever. I'm gonna have these tools forever. I'm gonna have all this paint forever until it goes bad, or until it, you know, until we run out of paint. You know, and they say an artist. Something about like, uh, you know, your supplies that uh, so you could only make as much as, I don't know, I forgot, it was a saying. But I mean, that's just a very cool shot right there. I mean, you could see all the paint. It, I, I look I look at all these colors from, from my chair behind me, you know, where I sit and do most of my work, make my videos or whatever. And I, I, this just calls my name, just tells me, hey, come paint, come use me, you know, so try to as much as possible and just seeing all this I kind of makes me want to do it oh I forgot to mention the way I set this up um, I, I arrange this by color okay so you could see we'll start over there in the very back I got my greens green and then purple okay so green and purple are in one tray coming over there it's all red and pinks 
red and pinks. Here I got my oranges and yellows. Orange and yellow. And then there is all blues. Okay. And here I got this one's here. It's all my browns and grays. Dark colors, brown and grays. Okay. So the Valspars I keep all together. Okay, all the valve bars together because of the main, the caps, the difference of the caps basically. I'll mix together all my rust oleums and my, my Krylons and keep them as a, a in color um, sequence or whatever the fuck you call it. And then I got my fluorescence and my Montana gold in one tray. So that's how I separate it. Keep it in color, orange and yellows because it's easy to distinguish. You know, you, if you mix in your oranges and yellows with your reds, then you know, you, then you, it can it can get mixed together pretty easily. Again, with the blues and greens, they can get mixed together pretty easily. I tried mixing my blues and my purples together; they would just get mixed up, and it would just look very unorganized. Since I mix, since I arrange it like this, it's it's been very s subtle and very very easy to put back into place. Since I did this, I have not got disorganized with any of this. In fact, it was probably the better things I did. But again, you need the colors to, to create, you know, if you, if you lack in a certain color, a certain hue or whatever, of course you can mix it, but fuck it, why waste time on mixing it when for $3 you can buy the different shades of green, boom, boom, and boom. And of course you can see here I got this kind of organized a little bit. Like I got my blues, my greens, my yellows, and my reds and purples and whites. So I tried to do it as much as possible. I'm going to have to reorganize the valve bars. And I'm thinking about putting this on a shelf so it's taller. Uh, I have a clo uh, like a standalone janitorial closet that I had used to put all this in, where you open the door and close the door. But I don't know. I kind of like the setup. I think it just takes up a lot of space. That's the only problem. And as you can see, I got plastic on the floor. And that's for the apartment complex, so that I'm not getting paint all over their rug, and they're not going to try to bang me over the head for the rug. And I basically just taped it down as much as I can. I had plastic going across here but it's just been falling down and I got a fan over there in the back that I turn on with a light switch and I got a light over there as soon as I hit that switch it comes on and off and aims towards the door so that's my setup and I hope you guys like it I appreciate all my subscribers and YouTube followers who follow me for my art videos you know bear with me about my my gardening videos and my fight my fighting videos you know I'm a multi faceted guy I've never just been settled on just one thing um, so if you like this video hit that like button hit that share button please comment below if you guys have any questions I'd be happy to answer them for you uh, if you guys have any tips or any advice um, you know I appreciate it all right so this is what my setup looks like you know, I got it on sawhorses with uh, some pretty strong wood and that's it, you know, I pretty much dedicated my whole bedroom to this because this is, I made a commitment. You know, this is a committed thing. This is not, art's not one of those things where you just want to fucking do it for a little while and stop. It's one of those things you do and then you, you want to get better and better. And I'm starting to reach a wall where it's like, man, I want to get better. I, I'm trying to learn how to elevate my level. And one thing I'm scared to do, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm scared to color, color in. You know, I'm going to try to so show what that stencil, that Spider-Man stencil you can see right here. It's just a basic spray, what, what, what one layer of spray looks like. And I've looked up multi-layer stencils and a lot of cutting, a lot of work. But why can't I just color this shit in? Why can't I just color in these lines or outline it with paint and make it, you know? So that's going to be my next thing, is just learn how to color. All right, so... Check out for later videos. Thanks for watching. Hit that sub button, guys. Have a great day. Keep painting. Adios.